Hello, um, thank you for inviting me to your AGM. I'm sorry that I can't be there, but I've got uh, children to look after. My name's Matthew Gibson. Uh, I own and operate a small digital agency, so mostly making websites and, and helping clients with their online marketing, that sort of thing. If I cast my mind back and try and remember sort of the conversations I had with Alina when this project started, thinking about your brief, um, obviously you had, you still have a website on the on the old domain name, um, so that's something that we look at uh, to give us an idea of kind of what you're trying to achieve as an organisation. We know on there you had an attempt at, um, at a forum, but some of the bits maybe weren't used so much. Um, and I think the brief really was sort of to bring things up to date and to make sure that you had a system that you could use to keep the website um, current, posting new things, um, you know, using it as a, as a communication channel in a way that is hopefully easy for you to do. Um, getting started with, with website projects, big or small, to be honest, um, you know, I, I, I often have clients ask me if I know their sector. Um, you know, maybe they are financial services. Oh, do you know, do you know financial services? Uh, no, but I know how to build websites. Um, I can't normally answer that way, to be honest, um, with clients. Um, anyway, that's the longer story. Um, but, you know, truth be told, you know your sector we know websites and, and when we start the project we need to start bringing those two things together so looking at your site looking at other sites um the uh, the oster club um, was, was certainly one that we sort of picked up on we know you're quite close to those uh, and um you know, just a little bit of research searching around looking for aviation um, clubs um, and, and the aviation industry to some extent um, just to get to know a little bit just to get to know enough um, so a bit of research. Also, that's a time when we spend gathering things that we that we need. So your old website's there, so that's a resource in terms of maybe some text and, and some assets, maybe some links. But also we asked you for your logo, your club logo file, um, and uh, you know maybe some new photos, things that are, are kind of up to date. Um, and certainly Alina had to start thinking quite early on about news content um, because you don't want to go live with a new site with a nice news section that's got no news in it. Um, so start pulling together images, logos, text, photos, video content if that's part of what you're you're doing. Um, you know, and, and to some you know it, it starts to sort of pile up a little bit. Um, and then the activity um, for me really then in order to sort it out is to understand the purpose, um, the strategy, if you like. Um, you know, let's not get too clever about it, but you know, what are you trying to achieve? So for me and for this project, that sort of boiled down to three things, really. The purpose of your site should service your membership. You know, that's a key aim, really. Um, it's by members for members and should be a place where you can communicate, especially for members who maybe aren't signed up into Facebook um, or, or other areas that perhaps you're publishing information. So, you know, the website's um, you know, always available to anyone who, who can get themselves online. Um, so it should be able to communicate with your members about things that are of interest. Um, that's, that's the first one. Um, second purpose really is to showcase the club. Um, you know, you want to encourage maybe new members. Um, I dare say there's a little bit of competition between other clubs that you know. Um, you know, everyone wants a nice website. Everyone wants a good-looking website um, in terms of amongst their peers. So showcasing your club, what it does um, to, to you know to the world, so that people can who want to take an interest can see what you're really about and what you're doing. And so keeping it simple really, the third aim I would say is to, um, in your case, preserve the history of what you're doing with these with these aircraft, um, which in itself is a form of kind of live 
preservation society, you know, keeping these aircraft flying and, and looking after them. And, and High impact um, photography at the start to get people interested and to demonstrate that flying um, that, you, that you all get up to. Short intro supported by testimonial. So whether you're scanning through or just want to pick out sort of the highlight, um, an authoritative voice here from your chairman to start to explain what's happening for people who may not know the club very well. And really clear um, interactive interaction points, buttons, um, with a little bit of animation on there to make it nice and um, nice and obvious. Then, as I mentioned, if people aren't maybe trying too hard, uh, don't necessarily want to read everything, let's give them sort of some bite-sized information that maybe just really gives them a feel for, for what's going on. Um, so size of club, um, number of aircraft, but also you know, what does a club get up to? So, you know, how many things um, am I actually going to get involved in? Because not much fun being a member organisation if members don't get together. Uh, and then crucially, I think as well for the sort of things that you're you're into, you know, the opportunity for flying hours, whether that's driven by getting to and from events um, uh, and, and other sort of activities, you know, that's you want to know that uh, you're going to get some flying done, don't you? Now, if we've got this far, we can start promoting a little bit harder. Some nice visual imagery here. I mean, this is a lovely photo um, with the sort of the weather behind and the backdrop. Um, such, such, a good, such a nice bit of photography. Uh, and leading into, you know, let's get down to business. What's our next event? Um, you know, I don't want to hang around. I want to know what's going on. Um, and if I want to find out more, a nice clear call to action with another really obvious button. So if I've skimmed your content, maybe caught my attention with the, the activities and things that you're doing, I can see that you're serious because you actually have events coming up and it's not just sort of, you know, something that's out of date or whatever. Um, do I have a question I want to ask? Let's make it nice and easy for someone to do that. Um, and then as we get towards the bottom of the page, thinking well you know if you've got this far what else is it that you could be looking for so highlighting some of your latest news which gives a feel for the activity of the club as well as being um, maybe a little bit more specific about um, things that things that are happening you know, in the spirit of supporting um, sharing and, and sort of connecting with some of those third party links um, we've, we've got those and a fairly standard sort of footer that will take us out also to your Facebook and, and YouTube um, if we uh, if people we'll look further into the site and have a look at the about page. Now this area really is targeting non-members because as a member I'd expect you to know most of this information. So looking at this site thinking about a non-member so and, and bear in mind they probably elected to read this page they probably clicked on about. So They've chosen to be here, let's give them a little bit more in-depth information and start to put a face on, on this as well. Um, we still want to make it easy for people to get in touch and let them know that that is you know, something that um, you know, we're very open to. We've got this area here around sort of annual event calendar. Now on the home page we highlighted sort of 10 plus events a year in a very sort of simple bite-sized way. This is trying to put some meat on those bones, really. Um, yes, we've got an event calendar further down, which is has a lot more a lot more detail in the site. But for the about page, for a non-member, the idea here is let's give them a taste of the sorts of things that are happening. Um, and we know that over the course of the year, you've got a few events, not least of all your AGM, um, you know, that'll happen once a year. Whether that's a kind of early summer barbecue or late summer um, uh, 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 catch up somewhere. So um, this is not sort of a set in stone event calendar. This is actually a give someone who doesn't know the club a feel for the types of things that are, are happening to really just support that 10 plus events a year idea um, without the sort of the, uh, you know, 
getting into the nitty gritty of are you going to attend and who's going to be there which is really more of a member concern this is for non-members we've got our nice little um, eye-catching banner still to support that um, and really with non-members in mind let's focus on what some of those member benefits are again as a member I'd expect you to know most of this um, but let's highlight it here because if I'm looking at the about page I, I want to know more don't I so supporting it again with a nice sort of friendly um, first person quote uh, and a few little easy to digest bullet points and then supported with a little bit of a deeper information um, about the club and this is FAQ content this is FAQ content that's categorized as being about membership um, because this is this is what this page is is all about uh, and we can naturally go from here and look at all FAQs um, which is within this about section so just to make it sort of obvious what's going on here we've um, we've come into this FAQ page as a follow-on um, and this is listing kind of all of the FAQs there's a there's a whole bunch of them we also have this filtering up here so if we just want to look at membership ones which is what we were looking at a moment ago um, support and engineering and so on and these can be added to and built on now the FAQ page just thinking okay well if someone's come here they're definitely trying to find out about us, aren't they? They're definitely trying to understand sort of the mechanisms and, and, and what's going on with this club. So do they want to find out more? Keep offering them that, this call to action, keep offering them that. And you know what, if they've read the FAQs, what else can we give them? So again, a news carousel and finishing with the footer. We mentioned with a purpose that preserving heritage is part of the purpose of the, the club needs to be part of the purpose of the website so if the about area is really all about catering to non-members the heritage area um, more self-explanatory really um, about about some of that some of that heritage content um, we've got these historic photography from the early days um, when these when these aircraft were made um, and we can link out to that full Flickr archive where all the original high res photos are if people want to take that to the list so we have a news area which will list sort of latest to oldest um, the page itself will um, paginate you know page one page two page three um, as necessary and um, clicking on any of these getting the news article um, with a nice bit of photography whatever it is that you want to include really um, and as I say, some of these news items um, nicely sort of brought in as part of the project to populate this new site, albeit with some old news content, just to, to, to make the site sort of viable rather than just having a, having a fresh start um, with, with sort of nothing in it. So um, that's a nice, nice way of doing things. Um, an events area, very much maybe sort of more member focused in terms of keeping you informed um, and also showcasing to people who are thinking well you know what are these events and you know what are they really maybe I've looked at the example event calendar on the about page and now I want to get into the nitty-gritty um, again this will paginate um, as you've got you know, more events coming um, and it's optionally at the moment showing some past events which you can deactivate and remove from there in, in your own time I think there was a feeling that it was kind of useful to have some of the um, recently past events showing um, uh, for a short period. And this is your forum. Uh, it's on a separate address. It's not www.bpbc, it's, it's a forum. Dot. So that's, that's a subdomain. Um, it's a separate piece of hosting. And if you haven't logged in already, please register and log in. We looked at some well-established tools that are out there, installed a few for you, had a little look um, between uh, myself and Alina, um, uh, and picked on this one. This is underneath the hood. This is my BB. Um, it's called my BB, um, which is a, a type of um, uh, it's an open source. There you go, powered by my BB, uh, open source forum. 
Um, and then we looked at themes and just customizing a little bit. So, you know, putting in your logo and, and, and some sky just to give it a bit of feel. And even, you know, color scheme wise, we've got a bit of the gold in here and, and keeping, keeping the blue as well. Um, still linking out to your Facebook and, and YouTube from here uh, and obviously back to your main website. Um, so this is you know, quite an advanced bit of software really um, and part of the battle is keeping it simple for you and not getting it to do too much. You know, there's all of this stuff going on back here. User management is excellent um, roles and permissions and that sort of thing is 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 really really granular um, so that we know you can be looked after uh, uh, make sure that non-members can't get in maybe there's separate area in here that's that's just for for committee members so there's all of this sort of stuff that for the most part uh, most of you won't need to see this is this is where sort of Alina and I have certainly you know Alina's put time into do battle with the complexities of, of the system. Um, in terms of the forum, you know, I'm sure you get the idea. They're kind of content buckets um, that uh, uh, you know that you, you can put bits into. And we certainly started off you know, trying to anticipate what you might do with the forums. Right now, when you log into the forum, you have to choose where am I going to ask my question. Um, and right now you just you can go into all sorts to just post if you're not sure go into all sorts engineering forum spares because that's a common common question and topic and then other and I think probably I can see this because I'm an admin but probably a lot of you a lot of you wouldn't um, this doesn't ask too many questions anyone can sign up and log in today and really you've you've just got to choose between three things and that's easy how is that going to live in terms of longevity well at some point it's going to get crowded and at that point we're going to sort it forums and topics and threads in the in the management area they can all be reorganized so just use the forum. Don't worry too much about what you're asking for or anything else. Put it in all sorts and let the thing start to come alive. There's a, a whole bunch of other things around this forum that you may find useful and that I know Alina and the team are, are sort of certainly considering. There's some messaging capability, um, although you know you have emails and other ways of doing things, so you have to see how that might fit. There's, you know, you're able to look at the membership list and potentially you know, message each, each other. Um, you know, a lot of the functionality here is similar to what you find really on a social platform in terms of engaging in topics and, and posting and commenting, but also, you know, the DM, the direct message area in terms of private messages. Um, in the admin area, there's also some capability around um, sort of emailing out mail shots and things so um, it's worth registering with the forum because it might end up you know if everyone's registered there are other things it can do beyond you just thinking you've got to be asking a question or replying to a question in a forum merely being signed up to the forum might make it you know possible to engage you through like I say maybe private messages maybe um broadcast messages going out to the group from this from this system so i guess this is the bit where i um maybe can sort of do a little bit of self-promotion um i said at the start i'll just put it up on the screen so my name is matthew gibson um my web design business is just called this company um i registered this company .co uk in 20 in, in 2000 rather um yeah because i started building websites in my final year at university when I was um, uh, doing physics uh, and that was in 98 so it took me a couple of years of building sites for people up in Sheffield um, before I bought this company domain name and I've kept it ever since so 
that's uh, I'll put my email up on the screen as well. Um, for what it's worth, the vast majority of the projects that I do for my clients are in the kind of one thousand to ten thousand pound price bracket. That's that's my sort of sweet spot. Um, historically, when I've been in agency and and as project manager and all sorts of other consulting roles and things that I've had. Um, I've certainly worked on projects, you know, worth worth a few million pounds. But um, for me now, at this part of my life, I'm, you know, your sort of digital handyman. I sincerely hope that you enjoy your new website, and I hope that you use it. I know that there's a lot of work gone into it, not just on my side, and that you know already there's work going into it to keep it up to date and make it current for you. So I hope it does become something that um, you know you use and you refer to. Uh, especially the forum as well. Um, you can see people sort of registering for it and, and getting more into that. Um, you know, forums, are, they're an empty box. You know, they're a, a very well-shaped, formed box with all sorts of clever things that it can do, but it, it doesn't do anything until you start putting things into it. So I hope um, you know, that really meets a need and is something that, um, that you start to use and as a way of sort of communicating with each other in a way that's that's nice and private, um, you know, as a, as a real membership perk. Um, I'm always available to help if you've got any questions, either direct or if you want to come, come through, Alina's probably better in the first instance. Um, whether it's with this website or another website or, or whatever, um, we're quite, quite happy to, to help and, and look at things for people. I'm not uh, Enjoy the rest of your AGM and I hope you are all still awake. Um, for the next bit. Okay, well it was nice to see you. Hope it was nice to see you.